Lock Farm Guest House, and the Belize Bird Rescue. Another first for us in this vacation. The Rock Farm Guest House is situated on 50 acres of pristine farm and forest land. It has its own river. Barb and I are not real birders, but we're willing to give it a try. They have several different sized cabanas and houses on the property. They all have Wi-Fi, AC. Ours was extremely comfortable and we had a really nice time. Because the property is so large, it's very, very private. They have several different size accommodations, so please do look at their website. There were several people from all over the world, professionals as well as gifted amateurs. You can wander around the 50-acre property and find many different species of birds in many beautiful locations. This is the Roaring River. This is their own working water wheel where they get all of their water. It's a gorgeous river. You can float down it in tubes. You can lie on the edge and let your feet dabble in the cool water or you can hunt for more birds. We saw toucans and uh, kingfishers down along the river many times. These are guinea fowl and you'll find them all over the property. They have free range along with chickens and ducks and other things. Jerry said to me, did you see the spring in the middle of the property? I did go out and have a look at it, but I was amazed that the noise sounded so familiar to that water wheel. Now the other portion of all of this is the Belize Bird Rescue. Let me read their mission statement to you. The Belize Bird Rescue is situated on a privately owned 50 acre reserve. More than half of the land directly supports the avian rehabilitation and the remainder is a wildlife sanctuary. They are trying to encourage empathy for and awareness of the importance of the preservation of indigenous bird life by means of education, conservation, enforcement, and rehabilitation. This poor little guy will never go back out into the wild. As you can see, he has no lower beak. There's also a clinic here for all the medical concerns, and all of the trays have to be set up daily for each of the sets of birds and their individual requirements. There is really so much involved in helping our winged friends out. When I went out to actually look and see at these cages and enclosures, I was amazed that there were signs everywhere. Please, no speaking. Please, don't call to the birds. As they're all trying to be rehabilitated and go back out into the jungle. The more contact with humans, the harder it becomes. There were many different reasons why the birds were actually in enclosures. Some were being raised from hatchlings because parents had been killed or poached. The main house had a wonderfully large veranda where you had all your meals. Surrounding it were many feeders that allowed you to get fairly close to some of the native birds. Each species had their own basket of food that was slightly different to the other ones. We were amazed at the constant sound of all the different species that you could hear sitting on the deck. In the afternoon, if you'd come back from doing whatever you were doing, you could sit here and watch the parrots and have a cold beer or stout. This was very civilized bird watching, and I enjoyed it a great deal. When you see birders move quickly but quietly, it's because they've discovered something like this. An American red start, living or wandering around the laundry. This guy was a little bit more common. He's a collared Arakari. Some people say Arasari. We never found out which was absolutely correct. You can see him reaching up. I think it's either papaya or mangoes he's nibbling on there. They're still very young, so I can't tell. Turn around. There he is.
There were many different types of parrots. I was amazed. And each one was slightly different, and all the birders knew exactly which one they were. They would suddenly point and go, Oh, that is... And they'd all be amazed, and they'd, you'd hear the shutters going, firing off. <laughs> I have to admit that after five days with these people, we kind of were birders as well. The word would go through, Oh, the toucans are flying through, and everyone would go to the top deck so they'd get a better view. Barb hunted with a couple of the photographers out with the long lenses and got some incredibly good photographs. The light here was right after it rained and the parrots were soaking wet. That's why the colors are so brilliant. You did have to have decent camera gear to get decent photographs. It was a very cool experience. After we left uh, the Belize Bird Rescue, everywhere we went, we found that we were watching for more birds. We saw them in trees much easier. Our eye was now attuned to noticing their movement and color. We went through one of the larger Mennonites areas, stalking the vermilion flycatcher for a day. It was real fun. Yes, even in paradise it does rain, but you can still sit on the deck, have a cold beer, tell stories, and if you're really, really lucky, you find a woodpecker. This one was out all the time, looking for grubs, pecking that wood like woodpeckers do. <laughs> He looked pretty disheveled in the rain. This is what he looks like when he's out in the sun. Was really a pretty bird. Oh, there's more guinea fowl. Or they might be the same guinea fowl. I could never tell. I'm sure if you asked Jerry, he would say, No, we only have eight guinea fowl, but they move around a lot, so you think we have more. These are just a few of Barb stills that she took with the new Nikon P1000. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get Barb to uh, respond to them for you. Nikki and Jerry are always looking for help, so they will put it, people in for interns and volunteers. Or it can just be like Barb and I and be straight guests. It's entirely up to you, but if you like birds, this is a really great place to come. We had such a nice time here. We had no idea what to expect. Wayne Hall would suggest, no, oh, you should go and have a look and see. They're great people, and they really are. The staff is fantastic. The meals are incredible. The wildlife is fantastic. There's something for everybody here. Jerry and Nikki, your hosts, are fantastic people. Although Jerry will pull your leg when he gets the chance to. But his cooking will make up for it, so it's okay. From time to time, they even have raptors here, but you have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to see them, because that's when they're awake. If you want to help Jerry and Nikki and the rest of their staff continue with their work, no donation is too small, either corporate or private. Please help if you can. The Belize Bird Rescue and the Rock Farm Guest House. They also have Facebook pages for both sites. You might have wondered where the bird came from in our bumper this year. He was a soaking wet little Arakari. And there's the original, and there he is in the production bumper. As always, thanks folks for watching. Please share.